We're going into motivation at this point, and on Mondays, we make sure we bring someone uh, into the studio that can connect with people on another level. One of such people is here with us today. We're joined by teenage life coach, professional writer, and public speaker, as well as entrepreneur, Jemima. Jemima Amoha. Oh, goodness me. Tongue twister. <laughs> Amonahini. Yes, I got it right. Fantastic. She is the founder and executive director of Win Teen Faculty. And today we're talking about identity crisis and self-esteem. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, working with our teenage uh, community is not a small job, not a small feat. Uh, it's a lot of work, especially with regards to topics such as this, mm -hmm. self-esteem, and I, I would love to connect identity crisis with self-esteem. How do they go hand in hand? Thank you very much. So um, I'd start by saying that self-esteem is the measure of the level of confidence that you feel about your values, your worth, your abilities. It's the general sense of how you see yourself as time goes on in your life. So there are days when you have a healthy self-esteem and there are days where you have a low self-esteem. Okay. There's also another kind of self-esteem called inflated self-esteem, but I don't want to go there. Because inflated? Of our school. Yes, mm, an inflated self-esteem. And um, identity crisis has a lot to do with self-esteem because, of course, identity is who you are, right? And who you are as a person determines a lot to how you behave, your motivations, your attitudes, and a whole lot of things. So if I, sh if I should define identity, I'll say identity, of course, is who I am. Mm. Now, when we were born into this world, we were given different identity tags, right? Your name was not even given to you by yourself, your color, your skin. Those are the things that determine how you viewed yourself when you were first born. But as you grow up, especially when you attain adolescence, right, your teenage years, you come to that place where you begin to ask questions. So do I have to be defined by my color? Do I have to be defined by you know, my ethnicity? Do I have to be defined by the things I have been told? Do I have to be defined by my name? Mm -hmm. So when those questions begin to rise up in you, when those questions begin to erupt, you, it will take a toll on your self-esteem. It's either it helps you feel better, yeah. right, a healthy self-esteem, or you begin to have self-doubt or maybe self-criticism. So identity crisis and self-esteem are very much intertwined. They are very much together because the way you see yourself will always affect the measure of confidence of your value and your worth. Okay, so I love the way you put it. You know, we, uh, when we're born, we're given a name. Yes. Uh, we're born into a certain community, a certain religion, a certain ethnic group. Uh, and we don't have any choice about where we find ourselves. Mm -hmm. But there is one thing uh, that we might have a choice of uh, either taking in or making sure we let go of, which is what people say about you. So a lot of young people are living in families where they are constantly told they are useless, mm -hmm. uh, where they are told that they would not amount to anything, mm -hmm. uh, where they are told they're stupid or they're told to shut up mm -hmm. over and over again. Uh, and we've you know, had discussions before on the show that have connected that to self-esteem. Talk to us about some of the teenagers in your community and how you've had to deal with that. So as a teenage life coach, I have worked with teenagers, especially teenagers in low-income communities. And these very issues you have raised are very common to them. Because when we talk about identity, right, I said identity is about who you are. But it has two sides to the coin, how people define you and who you see yourself as. Okay. So, but we start with hearing other people's definition of us. And when people begin to tell you things that, you know, take a toll on your self-esteem, just like negative words, okay, you are useless and all of that, I've realized that it has this, um, it, it affects your feeling, of course. And with the teenagers I've worked with, especially those in low-income communities, I've seen parents project their failures. So mm -hmm. a parent wanted to be a medical doctor, and it didn't work out. So that parent is forcing their daughter, their son, to be in science class. And then this child is saying, no, I want to be in the arts, because that's what I love doing. And the, child, and the parent says to the child, you're useless. You don't have anything doing. You, you don't have any future in mm. place. Why would you want to go into music when you can as well be a medical doctor and leave my dreams, mm. in quotes? So I have come to the place where I see that 
we need to help people understand that there is more to you. And when I coach these teenagers, I explain to them the, um, their identity as it is. Who you are starts with your personality, right? There's a whole lot to you. You have personal traits, some of these things that are embedded in your, your temperament, your strengths, your values, your interests, and all of these things matter. So when you begin to do that, it's a process of self-discovery. And when you discover who you are as a person, you can now um, ride on that or stand on that and battle whatever negative thing is coming. Okay. And I, I'm grateful because I recently worked with a, worked with a teenager in a low-income community that you know, always loved to write. She always loved to write. And she just published her first book, right? And that's, that's something that her parents felt... You're too young to be a writer. Mm. But this girl has always loved to write. And today, she's a self-published author. Mm. I, I'm so pleased to hear that. And please, uh, if you have a copy of that book, send one over to us so we can Definitely. probably talk to that teenager as well. Okay, I'll we do that. appreciate young talents. Uh, but there are some connections uh, with certain talent, talents and uh, attributes and things that those teenagers or young people can actually provide. There are some self-esteem that have been so battered that they mm. actually believe they cannot do anything. They cannot produce anything. And eventually, down the line, sadly, they don't really amount to much. Mm. Um, how are you able to sort of bring them back and pull them back into themselves? Mm. Firstly, I'd like to say that it's so sad. It's so sad because I, I grew up in a low-income community and I've firsthand seen what that can do to people. Those who were my classmates, I've seen how you know, negative criticism has affected them, and today it's really a sad story in itself. But on another hand, I believe that in, inside of every one of us, I feel like there is this fire that we should make sure um, never gets ex extinguished. Like there is this flame on your inside that tells you that there can be more. So if I were to meet a youth today that has given up on life and doesn't have any trace of a healthy self-esteem anymore, the first, thing I'm going, the first thing I'm going to tell that person is, find your flame back. Can, can you still find that flame in your inside? That thing, that those dreams you had as a young child, where you wanted to travel the world, you wanted to be a pilot, is it still there by any means? Can you find your young child again? And when you find your young child, right, it's from there we can begin to you know, work through affirmations, talking to a professional, yeah. mental health care provider yeah. and all of that. Thank you. Now I have to say thank you so much for what you do and please uh, keep doing what you're doing. Thank we you need very more much. and more people like you helping out our country's youth and even beyond. Uh, thank you so much. I hope we get to see you again uh, next week because there's still be so many pleasure. questions that need to be answered in this particular area. Please uh, make sure you reach out to us. Use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC and connect with us if you have questions on how you can help a young person in your community rebuild their self-esteem. Let's take a quick break at this point, but we'll be back with much more on Wake Up Nigeria. <laughs>